Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has once again released KB5048239 for Windows 10, which is a Windows recovery environment update. And the update will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device and doesn't require a restart. And it's quite a small update, so it doesn't take very long to install. And once it has been installed, it will be listed under View Update History as a quality update. And here's the update 5048239. And as mentioned, installs improvements to Windows recovery features and is the follow up to the now infamous update, which rolled out at the beginning of last year um, in January, which was KB5033441. And I say infamous because it caused a lot of problems for a lot of users, this update. And I'll leave the playlist on this update in the end screen of this video if you'd like some more information. And Microsoft is pushing out 5048239 on a regular basis once again. Because the last time I received the update for Windows 10 was on the 13th of November. And today on the 13th of January, ironically, it rolled out again in my region. Now... As mentioned, it installs improvements to the Windows recovery features. And when I say improvements, I kind of say that tongue in cheek because uh, the update, as far as I'm concerned, is not necessary. And I don't know why Microsoft keeps pushing it out. And it actually causes more problems than it's trying to resolve for a lot of users, as we have been talking about on the channel. Now, a couple of things just to take note of with this update. Um, First of all, if you want to see your Windows recovery environment um, on Windows 10, the easiest would be just to head to your search and just type in create and format or disks. And you click on create and format hard disks and this will take you over to the disk um, management utility, which is one of the legacy components of the operating system. And it does take a couple of seconds um, to load. Now, here is your recovery environment. Um, this could either be here to the front or here to the back. Now, mine's here to the front because it was just reordered when because I dual boot this um, machine with Linux Mint. And a couple of things to take note of according to Microsoft. The update will not be offered if the Windows recovery partition does not have sufficient free space. Okay, And according to Microsoft, that free space is that the update requires 250 megabytes of free space in the in the recovery partition to install successfully. Now that is nonsense, as I've been mentioning on the channel. It requires more than that. And I always suggest if you have the know-how and you really want this update on your system, um, make it at your recovery partition at least a gig. Because that 250 megabytes by Microsoft does not work. And that's according to Microsoft regarding the amount of free space you need. Now, something else to take note of, and I've experienced this firsthand today, is that the update is causing issues already. And this, as far as I'm concerned, is another dud update. And what has been happening is it's trying to reinstall itself, although it says successfully installed. So if you just head back, it says successfully installed. But what's happening, and I've wasted quite a bit of time on this today is if I check for updates which I'm not going to do now because it makes the machine hang is it keeps reinstalling the update and I've restarted my machine checked for updates it restored the update um, although it says the update has installed successfully and then what happens after it actually it installs the update although it's already installed I know this is a bit back and forwards and getting a bit confusing but what happens is that um, it causes 100% disk usage on my machine and it's wasted quite a bit of my time today. And um, so what I'm going to suggest is that if you can prevent the update from installing, maybe you can get to it before it installs automatically, you can actually hard the update, which I would suggest. And I've posted a whole video on how to show a hard block updates, for want of another um, word, on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Um using a small Microsoft utility and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen because it has been helpful for a lot of users where these um, Windows recovery updates are causing a lot of problems for a lot of users. I would just suggest hide the update. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this brings no 
improvement to the Windows 10 system when it comes to face value features and as mentioned causing a, quite a, a couple of problems for me today trying to reinstall itself and then after it's done that it's causing 100% disk usage which obviously is not optimum and you can uninstall the update by heading back into your view update history and then you can just click on your uninstall updates find the update and uninstall it and then hopefully the next time it tries to install before it does you can hide the update so that's my advice guys but that's as mentioned the update 5048239 windows recovery environment update for windows 10 and just a heads up just take note of this update it's causing issues for me so just a kind of a prior warning and a quick heads up if you would be affected or if you are concerned so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one